안녕하세요. 네, 오늘의 원서 읽어드리도록 하겠습니다. 오늘의 원서는 보시다시피 Step into Reading, Step 4, Reading Paragraphs 라는 어, 책에서 제가 한 권을 찾았는데요. 네, 어, 말 그대로 Reading Paragraphs 라고 써있기 때문에 어, 단락, 네, Paragraph가 많기 때문에 네, 양이 조금 됩니다. 그리고 좀 상당히 내용이 길고요. 음, 이 안에는 어, 어떤 아이들만의 어떤 갈등이라든지 음, 문화 간의 오해 네, 그래서 서로 이런 갈등을 풀어나가면서 그것도 이제 운동으로 남자이 이제 배경이다 보니까 어, 풀어나가는 그런 과정이 네, 포함되어 있습니다. 네, 그럼 바로 시작하도록 하겠습니다. 네, 제목은 Soccer Sam이고요. Author, Jean Marzolo, Illustrated by Blanche Sims 네, 작가분은 Jean Marzolo이고요. 음, Illustrated by 네, 어, 사파가 분께서는 성함이 블란체 심스 블란체 일 수도 있겠네요. 블란체 또는 블란체 심스입니다. 어, 출판사는 퍼블리싱 컴퍼니 랜덤 하우스 뉴욕 네, 이 부분이 좀 중요하죠? 제가 어, 저작권이 없기 때문에 네, 출판사 어, 랜덤 하우스 뉴욕 어, 밝혀드립니다. 네, 그럼 시작하겠습니다. The plane from Mexico was landing. Sam stood at the airport window and watched. He was going to meet his cousin Marco for the first time. Soon, a boy Sam's size came through the door. Sam's mother hugged him. Marco, this is Sam, she said slowly. Sam, this is Marco. Hi, said Sam. Suddenly, he fell shy. Hola, said Marco softly. In the car, Marco was very quiet. So was Sam. We're happy you have come to live with us for a year, said Sam's mother. See, si, said Marco, but he didn't look happy. He just looked out the window. You like sports? asked Sam. Sam loved sports. He was very good at them too. Marco shrugged. He doesn't speak much English, said Sam's mother. When they got home, she said, take Marco out to play, Sam. Introduce him to your friends. What if he doesn't understand what we say? asked Sam. Speak slowly, said his mom. He'll learn. Sam and Marco went outside. At the end of the street, kids were shooting baskets. Sam's friend Rosie tossed him the ball. Sam aimed and fired. The ball sailed through the rim. This is my cousin, Marco, Sam said. He tried to talk slowly, but it was hard. Marco, this is Billy, Chris, Rosie, Tommy, and Freddy. Billy shot Marco the ball. Marco caught it on his head and bounced it up and down like a seal. Everyone started to laugh at him. Sam's face got hot. He grabbed the ball and made another basket. Chris caught the ball under the net. He threw it to Marco. This time, Marco caught the ball on his knee and bounced it up and down. Again, everyone laughed at him. Sam felt awful. Let's go home, he told Marco. The next day, Sam and Marco went to school together. At recess, they played kickball. When the ball came to Marco, he stopped it with his feet. 
Don't you ever use your arms? asked Freddy. But Marco didn't understand. The next time the ball came to him, he stopped it with his feet again. Back home, Sam tried to explain the rules of sports to Marco. Hold the ball in your hand, said Sam. When you play basketball, bounce the ball as you run. It's called dribbling. But Marco just looked at Sam. He didn't understand English. He couldn't even say Sam's name right. He said, Sammy. The next day after school, Sam didn't want to go outside. He didn't want to play ball. He was afraid his friends would make fun of Marco. Why don't you draw? Sam's mother asked. So Sam got out his crayons. He drew a picture of a basketball player. Marco drew a picture of his mother and father. Sam's mother looked at the pictures. You know what I think, she said. I think Marco's homesick. Let's take him to the mall to cheer him up. At the mall, Sam's mother bought Marco a giant shirt, but it didn't make Marco happy. He didn't know who the giants were. Let's try some video games, said Sam. Watch, I'll show you how to play. Sam played Pac-Man and got a very high score. Now you go, he said to Marco. Don't worry if you don't get a good score at first. Marco played Pac-Man and got a better score than Sam. He left. In Mexico is Pac-Man also, he said. Marco beat Sam at every game in the arcade. They walked farther down the mall, looking at stores. When they came to the sports store, Sam stopped to look at the footballs. Look at footballs. But Marco wasn't interested in footballs. He ran over to a display of black and white balls in boxes. Suddenly, he was grinning from ear to ear. Why didn't I think of this before, said Sam's mom. Most kids in Mexico play soccer. Soccer? Nobody plays that around here, said Sam. Well, maybe they will now, said his mother with a smile. Back home, Marco took his new ball outside. He bounced it on his head. He kicked it around with his feet. Chris and Billy came over. Marco kicked the ball to Chris. Chris caught it with his hands. No hands, Marco said, said Marco. He kicked the ball to Billy. He caught it with his hands too. No hands, yelled Marco. Head, head. He bounced the ball on his head. Then Marco kicked the ball to Sam. Sam let the ball fall on his head. Bueno, cried Marco. Bueno, Sammy. Sam laughed. He kicked the ball back to Marco, who kicked it to Billy. Billy bounced it back to Sam with his head. The next day at recess, Marco showed the other second graders how to play soccer. They stood in a circle and passed the ball around with their heads. Once, Sam caught the ball with his hands. No hands, yelled Marco. Third graders, the third graders came by and laughed. No hands, 
they said. What a weird game. Some of the second graders felt stupid. They didn't like to be teased by third graders. Forget it, says Sam. I've got a plan. Let's practice all week. Then we'll challenge the third grader to a game. They beat us in football. They beat us in basketball. And they beat us in baseball. But they won't beat us in soccer, will they? The second graders liked the plan. They practiced all week. Sam practiced most of all. On Friday morning, Sam went up to the third graders in the playground. If you think you're so hot, he said, play soccer with us at lunch. Then we'll see who's really hot. The third graders took the challenge. Then everyone went back to class. It was hard to study. Billy said five plus four was eight. Chris dropped his notebook on the floor and all his papers fell out. Marco was so excited he forgot the capital of the United States. He said it was Dallas, Texas. Sam was so excited he could hardly write his spelling words. Finally, it was lunchtime. Everyone ate quickly and rushed outside. The second and third graders met on the field. Sam marked the goals with jackets. Billy went over the rules. Only the goalie can catch the ball, he said. To score, you have to kick the ball past the goalie and into the place marked by jackets. The game began. Marco passed the ball to Chris. Chris started to dribble the ball up the field. One of the third graders ran in front of him. Chris passed the ball to Sam. Sam kicked the ball hard but missed. The ball sat on the field. A third grader ran up and kicked it away down the field. What a kick! The third graders were really big and strong. Another third grader kicked the ball into the second grader's goal. The score was 1-0. to zero. The third graders were ahead. Sam looked worried. No problema, said Marco. He dribbled the ball to the opposite goal all by himself. Third graders tried to get the ball away from Marco, but he zigzagged around them. Two of the third graders fell down trying to catch Marco. Go Marco, baby, yelled Billy. Marco kicked the ball at the third graders' goal. It went in. Now the score was one to one tie. Hooray, shouted Sam. The third graders had the ball now. One of them kicked it halfway down the field. Another one dribbled it toward the second grader's goal. He took aim and fired. Tommy, who was goalie for the second graders, caught the ball. Hooray! shouted Sam again. He knew it was all right for Tommy to catch the ball. In soccer, goalies are the only players who can do that. Tommy threw the ball to Sam. Sam passed it to Marco. Marco ran it down to the other end and passed it back to Sam. Sam gave it a good hard kick. The ball sailed over the goalie's head. Now the score was 2-1. to one. The third graders weren't used to losing. They began to make mistakes. They caught the ball with their hands. Every time they did, the second grader shouted, no hands. The second graders started scoring like crazy. Bam! Chris got a goal. 
Slam! He got another one. Wham, wham, wham! Billy got one goal, and Rosie got two. But Sam and Marco were the team stars. They ran circles around the third graders. They scored six goals each. The lunchtime was over. The score was 19 to 1. A wipeout, said Sam. The third graders were good losers. They all shook hands with the second graders. Then they asked Marco if he would teach them how to play better. See, si, said Marco. Soccer Sammy teach you too. Everybody laughed. Soccer Sammy, they shouted. Soccer Sammy. And that's how Sam got his nickname. At first, he wasn't sure he liked it or not. Is bueno? asked Marco. You like new name? Sam looked at his cousin. He knew that anything Marco gave him, he would like. Si, say Sam. I like. Gracias. 네, 여기까지 책을 읽었고요. 어, 책은 좀 길었지만 조금 빨리 읽었습니다. 네, 내용은 음, 이제 보시다시피 어, 그 샘이라는 그 미국에 살고 있는 이제 아이가 있었는데요. 음, 그 이제 커즌 사촌이죠. 동갑내기 사촌이 이제 멕시코에서 어, 1년 동안 같이 살기로 해서 이제 미국으로 왔습니다. 처음에 이제 그 마르코가 잘 적응을 못하고 부모님을 이제 그리워하고 그러, 그래서 이제 샘이 샘의 엄마가 이제 샘이랑 어, 마르코를 이제 쇼핑몰에 데리고 가죠. 그래서 뭐그 풋볼 미식 축구죠. 미국에는 이제 미식 축구가 어, 아이들이 많이 좋아하고 인기가 있다 보니까 미식 축구 팀인 자이언츠 팀의 티셔츠 사주고 풋볼에 대해서 이제 설명을 좀 해주고 해도 샘 음, 마르코는 그렇게 관심을 보이지 않았죠. 그러다가 네, 축구공을 보는 순간, 눈이 번쩍번쩍. 그래서 이제 샘과, 음, 마코는 같이 이제, 어, 축구를 연습하게 됩니다. 근데 이제 미국 아이들은 사실 사커 그렇게 많이, 네, 생각보다 좋아하지 않아요. 그니까 뭐 싫어하진 않지만, 어, 아무래도 미식 축구와 농구가 굉장히 인기가 많습니다. 그래서, 어, 축구가 참 익숙하지 않아서 손으로 공을 만지면 안 된다는 그런 기본적인 규칙조차 자꾸 까먹는 거죠. 그래서 마코가 옆에서, 음, 많이 도와줍니다. 그, 이제, 멕시코 같은 경우는 뭐, 남미, 뭐, 네, 그죠. 남미 쪽, 이제, 그 국가들은, 어, 축구에 엄청 열광합니다. 잘 아시겠지만. 그래서, 어, 이, 마코가 세미를 잘 이제 가르쳐 주죠. 어, 그러던 어느 날, 음, 이제 이 샘과 그 마코가 2학년인데요. 3학년 이제 그 선배들이 아 무슨 운동이 저래 어뭐 손으로 뭐 공을 못 만져 이상하잖아. 왜냐면 미식 축구가 미식 축구와 농구 둘다 이제 손으로 하는 운동이다 보니까 구기 종목 중에서 이제 손으로 하는 운동이다 보니까 어 손으로 못 만진다는 게어 불편한 거죠. 어색하고 그래서 이제 놀리기 시작하는데 어 샘이 그래서 제안을 하나 하죠. 어, 3학년들한테 우리 그러면 축구를 한번 승부로 보자. 그래서 이제 3학년들이 그걸 받아들이고 음, 아주 열심히 음, 이제 연습을 해서 훈련을 해서 2학년들이 이제 3학년들을 이제 이긴다. 네, 그런 내용입니다. 결과적으로는. 어, 그래서 그이 중간중간에 이제 아무래도 그 마코가 멕시코에서 왔다 보니까 음, 스페인어를 씁니다. 그래서 가장 기본적으로 C. 아, 네. C는 yes입니다. 영어로 yes. 그리고 올라, hola. 올라는 이제 뭐 hi, hello고요. 어, bueno라는 음, 이제 단어가 나오는데 bueno는 good, well, okay, great 이런 거에 해당이 됩니다. 그래서 어, 괜찮니? 그 괜찮겠니? 어, 그렇게 물어보는 거고 이제 결국엔 쌤은 이제 그 C가 yes라는 걸 알고 C라고 하고 끝에 글라시어스 네, 고마워 라고까지 스페인어로 이제 하게 됩니다. 네, 어, 이런 내용이었고요. 조금 빠르게 읽었지만 음, 반복해서 들으시면 도움이 되리라고 봅니다. 네, 끝까지 함께해 주셔서 감사합니다.